Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up an NFT, set up your wallets and everything so that you can start selling on OpenSea, which is a marketplace for NFT. So this is a step by step walkthrough um, on how to do it the easy way, um, the way that I figured out for myself. So there's probably other ways to do this. This is the way that I figured it out and just simple for me. So what you want to first do is you want to go to a site called MetaMask.io. You want to make sure that it is MetaMask.io and not some other fake uh, MetaMask wallet website. Um, so make sure you actually go to the real website. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the blue button that says download. And you're going to download um, this MetaMask wallet into your browser. Now I do recommend that you use Brave, which is a browser that is for cryptocurrency. So if you go to brave.com, you can download the Brave browser. I won't show you how to do that in this video to keep it short. Uh, but instead of using something like Chrome, Brave is a lot more secure and it's built for cryptocurrencies. So I do recommend using Brave. That's what I'm using. Um, again, you can use this for crypto, uh, you know, use this for Chrome, but I do recommend Brave. So if you have Brave installed, then what you're going to do is you're going to click install MetaMask for Brave. And all you're going to do is it's going to take you to this uh, Chrome store. Again, Brave is using Chrome. So if you see Chrome, that's okay. You're going to go ahead and click add to Brave. And then you're going to click add extension. So now we have Brave installed, sorry, we have uh, MetaMask installed. You can see here that it says has been added to Brave. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're going to click get started. And if you've never set up a MetaMask wallet, you're going to go ahead and click create a wallet. You don't have to agree to this, so you can actually click no thanks. Um, and then what you're gonna do is create a password for your new wallet. So in this case, um, I already have a wallet, but I'm gonna walk you through just setting it up from scratch. So what you're gonna do is basically give this a password. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's just put uh, a password in here. Just something that's uh, we have there. I'm going to check this box and click create. Cool. So now we have a basically wallet set up and what we need to do is secure that wallet. So you're going to go ahead and click next. And what you want to do is click to reveal your secret phrase. Um, and this is basically how you protect your wallet and make sure that no one can steal your info, right? So obviously I'm going to blur this in the video, even though I'm never going to use this wallet, I'm just setting it up for demo purposes. But what you're going to do is go ahead and click, click the button. And then what you're going to do is copy this phrase and save it somewhere. I, I recommend writing it down in a notebook, somewhere physical that you'll actually have somewhere. Um, don't just put it somewhere, obviously like on a notepad or anything that people will see. Um, make sure you don't share it with anyone because if somebody accesses this passphrase, they can take all your money, all your crypto, whatever is in your wallet. Okay, so treat your wallet like a bank account. Um, it's basically that secure. You need it to be secure. So don't share this passphrase. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go and click next um, and it's going to ask you to confirm it. So obviously I did not uh, save that. So let me go ahead back here and save that and put that in. Great. So now what you're going to do is just add those phrases. You're going to click them one by one in order based on the order they gave you. So I'm doing that here and then I'm going to go ahead and click confirm. So now my wallet is secure. It says congratulations. Everything's set up. Um, so obviously they give you some warnings here. You know, make sure you save a backup of those phrase. Uh, never share your phrase with anyone. Be careful of phishing and all that stuff. So again, keep that phrase protected. You do not want to share that anywhere. Okay, so now that we've connected our wallet, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and just close this pop up. And this is our wallet. Um, now, what we're going to want to do is put some Ethereum into the wallet because we're going to need that. But before we even do that, let's go ahead and jump over straight to OpenSea. So now what you want to do is now that you've had your wallet installed and set up, um, you can go to OpenSea.io. Again, make sure it is actually OpenSea.io and not some other uh, browser, you know, Thing that you searched because you want to make sure this is secure. Um, I would also click the little puzzle icon for extensions and just pin your MetaMask over here to the top. So if you do that, it makes it very easy to access your wallet right here inside of MetaMask, okay? Inside of your browser. So from here, what we want to do is we want to start creating our own NFT. So I'm going to go ahead and click create. And what you're going to do is connect your MetaMask wallet. So here you're going to select MetaMask. And it's going to give you an option to connect this to Brave if you're using Brave. So what you're going to do is click Get Started here. And you're going to have to, uh, actually what I'm going to do is go back. I'm going to import from MetaMask here. And I'm going to put in my MetaMask password, uh, whatever that was. Um, 
So whatever that was for you, make sure you save that. And it's your actual password that you created, not the seed phrase. So to keep that in mind, it's not that long seed phrase, it's just your actual password. And then you can use the same password, but if it's not secure enough, then you may just need to create your own. So let's go ahead and create one. Um, so I'm gonna just create my own password here. And we're going to go ahead and click import. And there we go. So now it's just kind of connected our wallet from MetaMask to our uh, Brave browser here. So let's go back to OpenSea and let's try clicking MetaMask again. And there you go. So now when I click it, you'll see that it pops up here and it says connect with the Brave wallet. I'm going to go ahead and click next and then I'm going to click connect. Cool. And then again, you're just going to sign this. This is for uh, OpenSea just telling you basically you need to sign this. Um, and now what you're gonna do is just upload your NFT. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and choose an image off of my computer here and connect it. So for the sake of the demo, I just chose a photo. Do not copy someone else's photo and upload it as an NFT. You'll probably get sued. So obviously this should be your own artwork or image, video, whatever it is that you're selling. So what you're gonna do is select it from your computer, then you're going to give it a name. So you can call it your artwork, whatever it is. Um, you can include an external link if you want. So if you wanna link people out uh, to something else like your website or anything like that, you can do that here. Uh, description, I do recommend just putting a detailed description about your NFT. So, you know, my NFT description, whatever that is. And then your collection, you're going to actually create a collection if you have one or select it here. If you don't have one yet, then you can just upload it this way. Next, you're going to go to properties and you're going to select um, the stuff. So this is where you can put like character, male, um, you know, you could put uh, animal, you know, monkey, whatever it is. There's a ton of FTs out there with all these different characters and traits. So you're going to have to do a little more research. This video is not going to go into that. I just want to show you specifically how to set this up. So then you're going to click save. And then if you have, you know, levels for your NFT or something like that, like, you know, there's other features, you can just go ahead and add those. Stats, you can do that as well. Again, I'm not going to go into detail on that because that I will leave up to you. Um, unlockable content is pretty cool. So if you have something like a code or a secret file or something that you want to give with your NFT, when someone buys it, you can go ahead and do that also. So I'm going to leave that off for now. If there is some sort of explicit or sensitive material um, or something like that, you know, not safe for work or something like that, you can go ahead and check that. Um, and that will make sure that that is notified in OpenSea. Supply, you also want to include supply. Um, right now, you can only do one at a time. So we're going to leave that as one. Uh, the blockchain, I'm going to show how to set this up on Ethereum. Uh, you can also use Polygon which basically will allow people to buy your NFTs through Polygon and that one you can, you know, do a whole bunch of copies of it, you know. Uh, again, I gonna just show you how to do this on Ethereum. Um, if you're going to use Ethereum, this is a good point. Uh, it will cost you money to connect uh, OpenSea, uh, but if you do connect with Polygon, there is no fees when you do that. So again, I'm gonna show you Ethereum, which is a little bit of the harder way, but it's the way that a lot of these bigger, um, you know, NFTs are selling, so again, do it your way if you want. Uh, other people do different ways, just how I'm doing it. Um, so again, Ethereum, you're going to go ahead and set that up. And then you're going to go ahead and click Create. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, what's going to happen when you go ahead and click Create. Uh, it's not connected yet. So if I click Create, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to upload some artwork um, right there. So this is not actually for sale yet. Um, I will delete this, but it's not actually for sale yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click Sell here. And what's going to happen is it's going to ask me to actually set this up. So the price that you want to put is up to you. You can put, uh, you know, one, you know, point one Ethereum, whatever price you want to set. Uh, again, totally up to you, depending on how you're setting this up. I do recommend, you know, researching a little bit, digging in. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to choose how long you want to set this up for. So you can do six months or, you know, a day or whatever that is. Um, again, I particularly just leave the default settings um, and then you could even do a reserve for a specific buyer so if you have someone that you're just selling this to you can just do that um, and then send their you know their wallet in here so I'm not going to do that I'm going to keep this simple and then they're just letting you know that there's going to be a service fee so if I go ahead and click complete listing 
what's going to happen is it's going to ask me to initialize my wallet. So this is something super important that I want you to think about. Um, as you can see, it says I have to initialize my wallet. Um, here is where you have to pay a fee. Now, keep in mind, this is a one time fee that OpenSea um, deals with. And it's not actually OpenSea who gets this money. It is the gas fee for Ethereum. So gas is just the 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 means of paying for setting up Ethereum and transactions and all that stuff, kind of like bank fees uh, on, on the crypto blockchain. So again, without getting super complicated on that, this price right here is what you need in your wallet. So you see, I have no Ethereum in my wallet to, to do this. So what I'm going to do is go to somewhere like Coinbase. And if you have a Coinbase account, you need to send your buy, you need to buy Ethereum and then send it to yourself. All right, so once you've signed in, you're going to go ahead and go to buy. You're going to go to Ethereum. Then you're going to choose how much you want to pay uh, and what, what bank account or whatever you're going to pay it with. So in this case, we're going to need, um, it was 170 Ethereum to set it up. So the initialization here, if I click this, it will all depend on the gas fees at the time. So here I would put, I needed 170. So I'm going to put a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and click preview buy. And it's going to show me, you know, that I can go ahead and buy that. Um, and what I want to do is then once I've purchased my Ethereum, what I'm going to go ahead and go to do is go to send and receive. And I'm going to send that Ethereum to my wallet. So I don't want to do XRP. I'm actually going to do Ethereum. And I'm going to send the 175 to an address. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab that MetaMask wallet. So up here, click the fox, and then go ahead and copy your bank account, your MetaMask account, right to your wallet, uh, to your clipboard. Then you're going to go ahead and paste that into this box here. And you want to make sure that it is Ethereum, because if you send it to the wrong thing, it will, uh, you will lose it. So make sure that that is the exact same address, the wallet. And then obviously, I do not have ethereum in this wallet so i can't proceed right so i would need to deposit the money deposit the ethereum and then i can click continue and send it once you do that um, then you will have a balance of ethereum in your wallet so that you can uh, connect uh, your OpenSea account so again so you need to do this first again there's a one-time fee to do this one-time gas fee it does not go to OpenSea, um, and that's it once you go ahead and approve the item once you go ahead and do that then you can start setting up the full thing. So let me go and show you from a real account on how to do that right now. So now that you've actually um, created a new account and everything, I'm going to show you if I was logging into an existing wallet. So if you already had a wallet set up and everything, what you're going to do is go ahead and click MetaMask. Um, you're going to go ahead and click and connect your current wallet. So this is a real wallet that I use. I'm going to click connect. You can see this wallet has some Ethereum in it. Um, and this wallet is already connected to my um, OpenSea account as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go to profile and just make sure that everything is connected. So there you go. So this wallet is already connected to an art account that I have set up. Um, so this is my account. And now what I would do is simply go to create. And again, you want to make sure you sign everything and upload your files. So once you upload your files and you're ready to go, let me go ahead and upload everything here for you so you can see what that looks like. So I've gone ahead and uploaded one of my artworks. I've given it a name. I'm going to give it a description. If I want to, you can. My collection, this is the collection that I've set up. So I'm going to go and select that. Uh, properties, I'm going to give it some properties. So I'm going to pick character male. This is my own stuff. Again, uh, for my artwork, I'm going to put gold and then uh, period, I'm going to put a new renaissance, right? So this is my uh, my own personal thing. I'm going to go ahead and click save. I'm going to leave all the other stuff alone. I'm going to put unlockable content, which I won't show you guys, but I'm going to put some unlockable content for people here as well. So let me go and do that as well. Okay, so I'm going ahead and put to supply. I leave blockchain Ethereum because that's what I'm selling them with. And I'm going to go ahead and click create. So what this does is this actually adds it to OpenSea to my account, and then we will go ahead and publish this for sale. Great. So now it says that I've created my artwork. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And what I want to do now is list this for sale. So in order to sell this, I'm going to go ahead and click sale. And then I'm going to put the price point. Uh, this is just the price I'm putting there. Uh, I will leave six months and I will go ahead and click complete listing. 
And again, if you've already connected everything, initialize the wallet, like I said earlier, um, which is already done. I've already initialized this wallet and paid the gas fee. You just have to prove it for sale and you have to confirm. And again, there is no fee to confirm. You're just going to hit sign um, and then it's going to list it. So that's it. So there's no extra fees to list. You can list as many items as you want once you pay that one-time gas fee to OpenSea. Uh, again, it's not OpenSea, it's just the Ethereum blockchain. Um, so once you pay that gas fee, you're good to go. You can go ahead and click view item. And now you can see that your NFT has been listed and people can now buy it from you on OpenSea. So hopefully this helps. I'm going to break this down um, as well in the description so that you can you know, have the step-by-step -step process.